So obviously by the title of this you can see that this is my coming out video and I'm just going to preface all this by saying that I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate and I do expect there to be a lot of negative comments and I'm sure a lot of people are going to have nasty things to say. There are going to be people who are extremely rude and this they don't understand, it doesn't make sense, it's weird, it's gross whatever but but I'm still uploading this because I think that there are definitely sexies that outweigh the haters if you want to call them and I know there are a lot of people out there who are really awesome open-minded super supportive and who are going to love me no matter what so that being said I'm going to tell you what I have to tell you I am transgender which means that even though I was born biologically a female I have always felt like I was a boy I identified as a male. Well obviously I haven't been uploading YouTube videos recently and part of that reason is because my computer broke, but the main thing that's been stopping me from making YouTube videos for the last couple months, like over the summer as much as I wanted to, is because I've been dealing with this and realizing that who I truly am does not align with who I'm projecting myself to be on the internet. And YouTube really has always been a place for me to come, totally be myself, say whatever I want to, act as crazy as I want to, except maybe not get naked because that'll get my YouTube videos flagged. Whatever. But, <laughs> um, sexy time, go watch it if you're wondering what I'm talking about right now. Anyways, what I'm saying is that I've always thought of YouTube as like a place where I can just totally be myself. But as I realized that I'm a boy and was still making YouTube videos pretending to be a girl, it didn't feel right, and so I just stopped. But I feel like you guys are really my friends. A lot of you guys add me on Facebook, and we really do end up talking and becoming actual friends, so that's really cool. I feel like I can trust you guys with this, and I want you guys to be part of this and go through this journey, because this is going to be a very long process in my life, and I want you guys next to me by my side, and I'm definitely going to keep updating and let you guys know what's going on in my life through the transition. So in addition to my regular YouTube videos, I'm going to be posting transition updates and some other stuff, FTM stuff as well. FTM means female to male, so lingo. So you're probably wondering what's going on, what's going to happen, what does this all mean? So I'm going to tell you. First of all, I'm changing my name from Lexi to Sebastian, Sebastian Tyler Turner. And then I'm also going to get on hormones, which are going to do a lot of stuff. Those are basically what's going to turn me into looking like what I do now into an actual guy. So they're going to give me facial hair, they're going to change the body fat distribution on my body to give me more of a like a masculine body type and less of a curvaceous, you know, lady lumps, none of that stuff. It's going to deepen my voice and help me build muscle. And then also eventually I'll get top surgery, which is like getting my tits cut off so that I can be shirtless in public because I love taking my shirt off, have ever since I was little. Another reason I've always known I was a guy, trust me, this is not a decision. I have always been a guy. So I guess that's gonna be a transition into me talking about how I know that I'm a guy. The first day of kindergarten, I went to school decked out in Spider-Man gear. I had the Spider-Man t-shirt, I had the Spider-Man tennis shoes, I had the Spider-Man lunchbox. I fucking love Spider-Man. I was a little five-year-old you know, girl, my little pink shirt, my pigtail braids, fucking rockin' Spider-Man. Everyone was like, what the shit are you doing? And I owned it. They were like, dude, you have too much swag for me. So that's pretty much how I was. Also, I didn't even know that I was a girl. Like, it didn't register in my head until I was in third grade. And I hated it. I got so pissed. I was so pissed. I was dressed like a boy anyways. I always wanted boy stuff. I did boy stuff. I played sports, yada yada, whatever. So I've always, all growing up, I've, I've known that I was a dude. I've been very much a boy. Like started slowly transitioning into cross-dressing into middle school and then once I moved out to Hawaii where nobody knew me I was totally full-on dressing like a guy, had my short hair, people thought I was a dude and I was loving it. But before that like or before you know I came to terms and accepted it earlier this year I always just identified as like a super butch lesbian but when I was in Mm, eighth or ninth grade, I was I think I was like 14, I found YouTube videos on guys getting on testosterone and stuff, the whole FTM thing, and it, like, I realized that's what was going on with me, but it really scared the crap out of me, so I tried to deny it, and I pushed it away, and that is ultimately what led to my depression. It's It's been a really tough thing to deal with, it kind of messes with your head a little bit. 
being in the wrong body. It does things to you, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, I can't blame it all on that. I'm just a crazy motherfucker anyways. Finally, this year, I came to terms with it. You know, I was at the peak of my depression. I thought there was no way I was ever going to be happy with myself unless I was dead. Because I knew that I was supposed to be a boy and I was so pissed and I was like, all right, I'm not getting better. This is not gonna change. I cannot just, you know, play with the cards I was dealt or whatever that saying is. I don't fucking know. I just knew I didn't want to be a girl. I was done. I was over it. I didn't tell anyone. I kept it to myself, but I accepted it. And I finally, I decided that when I moved off to college where no one would know who I was or what I was doing or anything about me, I would transition into a guy. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan, right? So then it was like July and me and my mom and Jesse were in the car and somehow the conversation came up and I ended up telling them and they were totally cool and totally supportive. And since then, you know, I've felt comfortable with it and I've started, I came out to more and more of my family and I went and stayed in my hometown so when I was there I told a lot of my family members and and me and my mom have been going we found a local support group for transgender people and that was like the biggest thing that helped me because I went there and I was able to dress like a guy and be treated like a guy for the first time in my life like and it be okay and like actually encouraged and I was so happy and I loved it and that's when I knew like that this is going to be the best thing for me because I don't know how to describe it but being a boy who is a girl to everyone else is not fun at all <laughs> so whenever I was finally able to be totally comfortable with myself it was great and that really opened up my eyes. I got to see guys who were further along in their transition. It was such an inspiration. I got to get in touch with, you know, people who can get me on hormones and stuff. And so hopefully I'll be doing that soon. So since then it's been pretty great. I came out on Facebook. I started a new Facebook page and now I'm telling you guys. So this is happening. I hope you still love me. Oh, I have a new video that I made for Thursday and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I dressed up as Miley Cyrus. It's Halloween costumes. I also got to be Daily Grace. And if you know how much I love Daily Grace, then you know how fun that was for me. But anyways, that's what's going on. I'm a guy, so call me Tyler, call me Ty, call me Sebastian, add me on Facebook. I have a new Facebook now, so go add me on my new Facebook or else you're a cunt. I love you guys. Hope you have an awesome life. See you Tuesday? Thursday? Today? Thurs Thursday.